Hi guys, welcome to another episode of U Squad Stars here with Cambridge United. Well, I hope you've all had um, a decent, like, you know, few days, like, you know, off, like, from me. Um, but anyway, like, let's get into this. We finished, obviously, with um, playing against PSG, and then I was contemplating this possibility of me playing, like, the FA Cup game, because it was Man United and stuff, but I played it off camera, so we could get the series ended and done with, you know what I mean, that's it, like, that's what we're getting, like, in the tables at the end, but we actually won, yeah, beat them 4-1, um, in that simmed game, and then we beat Wolves 2-0, um, in the league, we then played Liverpool in the league in a thriller, um, which was actually 4-3, um, I've actually, hold on a sec, just thought about it, as you can um, see right here, like, you know what I mean, um, that was, like, the results from it, so I actually did play that one rather than, like, you know, um, simmed it, or so I just thought I'd show you guys the, the sort of results, it was very close, as you can see there, uh, but yeah, 4-3 was the final outcome in there, but that's, like, helped us actually claw back, obviously, the seven points, you know, that they were ahead of us in the league, um, we smashed Palm of 6 0 in a sim game, and then that leads us nicely for um, the two legs here like, you know, first and second leg against, yeah, Liverpool. Um, no bias going on here. If you're new to the channel, I have not rigged this in any way. The fact that we keep coming up against Liverpool and stuff like that in cups, and we seem to be fighting them in the league and stuff like that, it's just that they are the AI's kind of best team for um, sort of stats wise I suppose and that's why they're doing pretty well right so here is the um the the lineups um, going into this one as you can see um a few of the Liverpool but in fact some of our players are, are not fully fit you can see Trevor Behams and Tomo are slightly off like but um Tomo and obviously Trevor are going to be playing because the Liverpool game along with Harry Sutton at, um, at centre back along with Hyder as well but I mean Hyder's 98 right so of course he's going to play <laughs> but um yeah I uh, um, as you can see for Liverpool, slightly different like um, sort of lineup to when we played them in the um, Carabao Cup final. But yeah, um, playing Felix actually out on the left hand side there is an interesting one. I've not changed that at all. That's the uh, you know um, CPU's like you know decision on on um, um, what team they put out there. I've not bothered to change it and because of the realism mod now they will put out like their best side. So there we go. Enough of that explaining. Let's get into this game. So the first game in the tie is actually at the Abbey Stadium, so if we can prevent Liverpool from picking up any away goals, that'd be ideal. Going back to Anfield. Um, Trevor, thank you so much for getting in touch and happy with your hairstyle. Um, so I'm pleased with that. Not heard nothing from Tomo, but I think he's so far behind on episodes, then he'll probably get in touch when we're playing FIFA 20. <laughs> but anyway, let's see how we do. This off our lad, maybe. Hit one. No, maybe not. There we go, Garber, nicely done, round the corner, holding up the, the chance, has to lay this back, all that now, hits Fabinho, gets another crack at it, but Alastra gets that away, and Timo Werner knocks that forward, oh, and he's got caught there by Musley, late, thought I could get there before, but no, I think Musley might be picking up a yellow at some point when this goes out of play. Werner down the line here to João Felix. Nice footwork and a nice goal from Fabinho. Wow. Okay. Right. Um, thought um, we were ahead uh, of heading that away, but uh, yeah, didn't happen. As this comes in here, I thought we were in front, but somehow Fabinho just just gets there. Here is Clark now, try up against Fabinho again, but Fabinho seems to be winning that battle between the two uh, midfielders. All right, whipped into the box from Hyder. Chance for Garber. Oh, he's hit the ball. That would have been spectacular. And then Mahoney went for the spectacular and missed it as well. It was a great effort there from Patrick Garber. Hits the bar though. Sutton all the way out here to Arlad. Can he get this around the corner to Garber? Got a great opportunity here. Pick out Charlie, and it's saved, and it's squeezed its way in there from Trevor Mahoney. They nearly kept it out. Um, they were determined that that ball was not going in. Hit there from Charlie, and it was like, I think it was Trent and Allison down low, and... He nearly gets there as well. He nearly does. 
and it just trickles in and De Jong just looks on as if to say what am I supposed to do but well done to Trevor for getting us back in this but inside Fabinho now is Naby girl he's played that really well yeah laying this off nicely oh well done to Berhams hide it through Clark now great ball through Mahoney Tries to get it through to Charlie. That was a terrible pass. What on earth was that? That was like weird. Why did he suddenly do that? That was just awful. Little flicks inside there from Joe Felix. And our lad now round the corner. And it's 1 1 at half time. And yeah, it's more of a challenge. It's. Um, we've had it quite easy, haven't we? So I just thought. You guys, you know, probably just assume, yeah, he's going to win in 8 0 or whatever all the time. Uh, I needed to make it like more tougher. Well, um, it's certainly seeming that way. Still managed to get that through somehow. Nabi Kata now. Oh, this is in. This is going in. Oh, it's not. Well done, Rodolfo. Yeah, you can just feel they, they've got the edge on us um, on certain movements and stuff like that. They're a lot quicker and moving around and stuff. Our players are a little like a bit slower now because, like I say, I've adjusted it. So, okay, and um, they're going to make a change. Obviously, Thomas Party is coming on for De Jong, but we're going to make two changes. De Jong's decided to bring JB3 on in place of Mahoney, um, and he's also bringing um, Arnis on in place of Tomo. Right, hide it. Here is Burhams. Knocks it forward, Hyder. Now he's got three purple shirts on him. Back here to Burhams. Uh, he just couldn't beat Alastra, and Timo Werner's going to have to hold this up and wait for support. And here it comes in the form of Sadio Mane. Clark's there, but he still managed to skirt past him and pressed in tackle, and nothing seemed to happen there. But Timo Werner's got himself offside. Oh, our lad in. Garber, nice. Can he find someone? Can't. Fall into Trent. GB3 brings it down. It's fallen to Clark. Mm, didn't really catch it how he wanted to. Can't afford to lose concentration. Our oh, lad now. It's a great ball through. It's Garber. GB3, get in. Good finish. Nice. It was that through ball to Garber that initially like fooled them. They were like um, they pushed quite a few um, players forward, and um, we just caught him out. Garber in a lot of space, and he massively caught Audrey Zola out of position. And yeah, GB3 fresh on, and he's pretty deadly from that range. Two one, still a close game. Still close. Um, it's not over yet. It'd be nice if we could get make it three, but I've got a feeling it'll either go two two or it'll finish this way. Just got that feeling. Clark. Garber waiting for support from our lad. Here he is. He wanted to Audrey Zola to commit. Fabinho has come across. It's back to Garber. It's a great ball. Gomez is there. Our lad just thing ping this to Arnis, oh wow, the two substitutes have massively influenced this one, GB initially and then Arnis with one of his spectaculars and what a spectacular that was, he just ran onto it and I just, just thought, hit and hope this was but wow well picked out here our oh, lad and that's just I wanted 3-1, um, I got 3-1, uh, yeah he just got enough curl on it, only to get it round the defender, but he got enough to get away from Allison. And after all the pressure Liverpool were putting on us, we're looking a little bit more comfortable now going to Anfield, let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, I mean, fully deserved when it comes to the, the shots and stuff, um, you'd say. Um, Patrick Garver picking up another match. Did he get an assist as well? He got an assist on a goal? No, he didn't get a goal. Oh, okay. I thought he got a goal. No, he went for the overhead, didn't he? And he hit the crossbar. That, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. Right, so just threw out um, an 11 that, um, you know, don't just 
don't normally play like I mean there's such like as many games anyway like so we'll see how they get them uh, that's a close one 2-1 and one. Um, both goals coming from Jake Warren and um, so that was um, pretty impressive uh, from him Right, so both sides um, have made um, a couple of changes. Um, uh, we've got Akinola and Arnes have come in um, for, for Cambridge, um, and for Liverpool, they've brought in Laurenti and Partey in the middle. Klosterman instead of Otriazola, I think that was, wasn't it, that Liverpool have changed. But they have still got some players that they've got in there that. Um, uh, what should we call it? Stamina is down and stuff like that. Like you know, so um, they decided not to, to change them. Not surprised they haven't started Mane instead of Felix, but um, yeah, there we go. So here we are, European Knights, a fantastic stadium. This stadium knows how to produce atmosphere when it matters, and um, yeah, apparently um, with FIFA 20, like you see the cop there, like um, there's going to be. I don't know if it's just European nights, but there's all going to be flags and everything like that to make it more like you know authentic and stuff, which will be um, a nice touch. That'd be cool. Um, but we'll wait and see if that's the situation. But there has been like rumours as that's what there's going to be. Um, but anyway, let's get into the second leg, um, Champions League quarterfinals. Can go either way still, but we do take a three-one lead going into this one. Let's see how we do. Timo Werner then will get things um, off and running here. If he but he did. <laughs> right, Lawrence forward. Mahoney now up here to hide it up on his own. Has to hold this up. Now goes round the corner. We've got Mahoney. Oh, wow. Now, was he last man? No. Lucky, lucky boy, Mr. Gomez. But he took out Trevor there. There was no way was he going for the ball. Dion's just not happy with that. But, mm, yeah, lucky, lucky. Here to our lad. No, 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 game. What are you doing? Why do you keep playing it where I'm not aiming it? What are you playing at? Wesley, forward. Warren, round the corner. Hyder, chance here. Behams, lips it in. Lips it in? Doesn't even work. That's not even a, what lips it in. Slips it in. I'm meant to say. Wow. Mo inside. It's got a chance here, and it's a good chance. And Akinola stopping Navigator there, who's actually got the captain's armband. I didn't even notice he was captain. Did he? Yeah, he got something on that. Well done, Akinola. Played short. Jake Warren coming across, doing well to hold up Navi, but he's still. I oh, know he's offside. I'm gonna say. He still managed to get past there, but he didn't. How is he even playing that? He'd break an ankle playing that. He's like leaning all the way onto that side of his body, yet he's managed to play it backwards without falling on his ass. Lays this out. Here's Lorente. Played inside. Lorente again. It's Thomas Party. You've got to play it down in the box, and he's just banged that in the top corner. Maybe that was to off put my vision because I was looking at the player that was gone down in the box. Like, and Thomas Party was able to smack that one in the top corner. Well, justification of him being picked. It's just it was a coming together and Werner's gone down, but yeah, all our players were just not in the right positions there. Well, they're back in it. Definitely back in it. But that's fine. One nil down, but we're fine with that. We're still going through. Um, I don't know why, but the game is just being a pain in the bum right now because I'm passing or directing it in certain areas. Like that one there, our lads, I aimed it right back to Rodolfo and it played it inside, like, so it gives it a better chance. But it's just, I don't want to talk about that crap, but it's just so annoying that it does it. Arnish through to Garber. Can you keep that in? He can it's Garbert being hounded. Our lad. It's a good ball in. It's a chance for Hyder. It's a great header. Oh, what a header. He was thinking about celebrating in front of the cop because he's a Liverpool fan, but then he thought, no, it's a bit disrespectful, isn't it? Like, he's not Gary Neville. Um, but again, our lad just picking people out. 
and I think Alison thought it was towards it was kind of towards Charlie, but Charlie got totally hounded out of it, and Trent just didn't jump because um, I think he thought um, Alastra, I think that was um, was going to get the clearance, and he missed it. It fell nicely for Hyder, who paid attention and um, nets it, and that is just negated their away goal. Um, so yeah. That is um, what we needed. Bernard, he's looking to get this out to Felix. You can see that. It's a good ball in. Akinola's there. Warren can't get there. It's here to Werner. Naby Keita. Well done, Arnis. Here is Haider now. Waiting for the support in run from Bearhams. Here it is, and Trent is out of position, and Bearhams has got acres of green to run into. All right, can he now pick someone out? He's played it across. It's come to Mahoney. Thank you very much. We have two away goals. He won't celebrate too much. I mean, he can do. He's not like that. He used to play for Liverpool or anything, but... The fact that we've got two away goals now, that is um, a huge, huge um, situation. It was the fact that Trent had pushed up and the pass then found Bearhams and he just had all that space to run into and then he perfectly found Trevor in the box and yeah two goals to one five two overall it's um bit of a bit of a task now on but we know this Liverpool side well the one in real life anyway can can come back from pretty much anything can't they so um, we've got Harry Marsden going to be coming on um, for our lad. Our lad's just tired. He's been doing a lot of running up and down that wing, so he's going to be coming on. Um, we've got Garber's going to drop into the cam role. Yeah, he's going to play in the cam, and JG Loz is going to come on um, out on the right wing. And we've got Clark um, um, coming on as well for Arnus as, um, as well. It looks like they've made a change also. That way, but... It's come to party. It's a chance here. Werner, chance. Oh, good save, Rodolfo. Well, we know we're into the semis. Um, we just got to try and prevent Liverpool now um, getting like the equaliser. That's about it, really. Um, but they're not going to get it. It's close, you know. Um, but not close enough for them and we move forward but I suppose they'll have gained a little bit of pride maybe um, in the last few games that we played them we had a 4-3 thr thriller um, in the league then we just had like a 3-1 and a 2-1 um, so yeah we still got the upper hand but um, at least I've made it with the sliders being a lot more tight and a lot closer that's something yeah, we do edge it um, with the shots, uh, but yeah, it was, a, it was a closer game and Trevor picks up man of the match. It wasn't the greatest of um, performances in the second leg. Um, Liverpool players, yeah, I think no one outstanding there apart from Lorente actually. Oh no, Thomas Bailly, but he scored didn't he, so. Oh, we've actually gone top, but Liverpool messed up again, what the hell? Uh, yeah, Manchester United beat them 2-1 um, so Liverpool are just having a right terrible time of things at the moment they've just completely and utterly and that was a big game because Man United are in third so yeah we've actually gone to, that's just that's crazy we've um, <laughs> conceded 19 goals wow um, our defence is like um, pretty decent isn't it like in the um, in the Premier League and not doing too bad up front as well with 90 goals like but yeah we've actually with six games remaining um we are top of the premier league champions league semi-finals barcelona wow is me messi still there don't know juventus real madrid not sure i don't think ronaldo will still be there i think he's retired uh, yeah he has retired because Trevor wanted his hair and he has retired so um, but yeah, Real Madrid, Juventus, Cambridge, Barcelona, wow.
that's a semi-final isn't it like you know match up isn't it wow but yeah um we're nearly at the end um it could be a case of two more episodes maybe if we get past barcelona get to the final if we get past arsenal get to that we could end up with the final episode being an fa cup and champions league final possibly that could be how it could end um which would be absolutely nuts and if you manage to somehow grab the premier league as well we could end up winning all four trophies which would be an insane way to finish um this series which has been an absolute joy guys and um, thank you so much as always for tuning in if you did enjoy today's give me one of those thank you very much that'd be great tell your friends share the video um and stuff and yeah if you're not able to on future episodes not able to watch them for some reason that just um when you're on twitter just retweet the, the video that'll be great and um, that also helps guys thank you so much um as i always say and um, go down into the description guys that's where the patrons are if you want to go check their channels out along with the mods that i use as well go check theirs out but yeah um not long to go now uh, i've been really i've been i've added some mods to the actual pez demo so i've managed to make it play longer so i can have like 10 12 minute games and stuff like that rather than the two minutes or um or five minutes or whatever that they, they gave in the demo so and i've added some grass textures and all that sort of thing so yeah pez um also got the the master league um trailer i am pumped for that can't wait um it's going to be awesome guys i hope you do tune in for that even if you are fifa followers i hope you do tune in for it guys it should be a, a bit of a blast and it'd be really exciting if you can um, but anyway guys enough of me rabbiting um, i'll see you on the next video please hit the bell and um, you won't miss when it comes up and i will catch you then dave from moon gaming signing off cheers